Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at the PNY GeForce RTX 5070 Ti OC graphics card. The PNY GeForce RTX 5070 Ti uses an overclocked GPU running at 2.6 gigahertz. The default is 2.3 gigahertz. For cooling, it comes with triple fans and a large heat sink with a uh, solid metal backplate. The card uses uh, three PCI slot space, so make sure you have enough room in your case to uh, mount this graphics card. And the card supports three DisplayPort and one HDMI, which is plenty for most users. And uh, the main feature of this card is that it has some really nice RGB lighting, and they call it the Epic X uh, feature. Uh, and you can use the Velocity X software, which you can download to control all the RGB lighting. It'll be interesting to see how this graphics card, the PNY GeForce RTX 5070 Ti, will compare to the uh, GeForce RTX 5080, which uh, we recently reviewed. Both come with 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 RAM and uses the same 256 bit memory bus. Uh, however, the 5080 uses a faster memory at 30 gigabits per second, whereas the 5070 Ti uses memory running at 28 gigabits per second. And of course, the main difference is that the 5080 uses 10,752 CUDA cores, while the 5070 Ti uses 8,960 CUDA cores. Aside from the differences, the 5080 will cost you well above $1,000, reaching up to $1,200, while the 5070 Ti has an MSRP of around about $750, with prices reaching up to $850. At this price, this is probably what a lot of gamers will go for, especially when you get DLSS4 support, ray tracing, 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 RAM, and an overclocked GPU. We'll be putting this into our test rig, which is comprised of a Ryzen 9 9950X, along with 48 gigabytes of DDR5 8000 RAM. So let's put this into our test rig and see how it performs. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the uh, PNY GeForce RTX 5070 Ti. It supports DLSS4 and ray tracing and comes with the 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 RAM as well as the Epic X RGB lighting. All right, let's take a look inside the box. All right, here we have the quick installation guide. And this is the 12VHWPR power adapter converting the uh, three 8-pin PCIe power connectors to the 16-pin PCIe 5. Here we have the graphics card and uh, we'll take a look at that in a sec. And there's nothing else inside the box. And here we have the GeForce RTX 5070 Ti. So this graphics card uses an overclocked GPU featuring NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture with a boost clock speed of uh, 2.6 GHz over the default 2.3 gigahertz. It comes with a total of 8,960 CUDA cores and uh, of course 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 RAM on a 256 bit memory bus running at a speed of 28 gigabits per second. It comes with triple fans for cooling and also uh, the 16 pin PCI power connector right here. And this is the RGB lighting with the Epic X ARGB feature and it has this uh, a figure eight shape which gives it a really nice aesthetic with some stunning RGB lighting. You can customize the RGB lighting using the Velocity X software, which you can download from uh, PNY's uh, website. Uh, video outputs include three DisplayPort 2.1B and one HDMI 2.1B, which is plenty for most users. The card uses three PCI slot space, so make sure you have a compatible case with enough room. For cooling, you get this large heat sink and also a solid metal backplate. Here we have the GeForce RTX 5070 Ti labeling and of course the PMY logo. You also get RGB lighting on this uh, chevron shaped uh, feature right here as well. We'll be testing this graphics card using our usual test rig, which is comprised of a Ryzen 9 9950X along with 48 gigabytes of DDR5 8000 RAM to see how the whole system performs. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the PNY GeForce RTX 5070 Ti OC graphics card with the Epic X RGB. The GeForce RTX 5070 Ti is most likely the graphics card that a lot of gamers would go for. 
with an MSRP of around about $750, it offers similar specs to its bigger brother, the RTX 5080, which costs well above $1,000. Yes, the RTX 5080 does have more CUDA cores, 10,752 versus 8,960 for the RTX 5070 Ti. But both cards have 16GB of GDDR7 RAM with 256-bit memory bus, although the VRAM on the RTX 5080 does run slightly faster at 30GB per second versus 28GB for the RTX 5070 Ti. That said, the GeForce RTX 5070 Ti is no slouch either. In all of our tests, it performed better than we expected, especially for a GPU that's meant to be sub $750. It can easily handle 4K gaming with decent performance, so it's really a no-brainer. During our test, we used the AMD Ryzen 9 9950X along with 48GB of DDR5 8000 RAM. We got extremely good scores in all of our benchmarks, including a score of 11,141 for Basemark Relic of Life, and a Geekbench GPU score of 227,125. For Unigen Valley Benchmark, we got an incredible score of 11,757 and the Final Fantasy score of 21,374. Passmark 11 GPU score was 36,852. For Unigen Superposition 1080p Extreme and Optimized 4K Benchmarks, we got good scores of 15,943 and 22,811 respectively. For 3D Mark Steel Nomad and Speedway, we got respectable scores of 6,948 and 7,879 respectively. For Port Royal and Tamspy, we produced a score of 19,598 and 24,579 respectively. And lastly, we got a direct X ray tracing score of 85.16 frames per second and a DLS score of 154.75 frames per second. For Cyberpunk 2027, it produces a respectable score of 52.97 frames per second at 4K. For Monster Hunter Wilds benchmark at 4K with ultra settings, we got an impressive score of 18,549. All said and done, I was very surprised with the overall performance of the PMY GeForce RTX 5070 Ti OC. Not only does it offer excellent performance thanks to its overclocked GPU, but it comes with great aesthetics and stunning RGB lighting thanks to its Epic X RGB feature. If you have the GPU for 1440p or 4K gaming with a price range of $750 to $850, then you have to consider the PNY GeForce RTX 5070 Ti OC graphics card. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the PNY GeForce RTX 5070 Ti 16GB OC graphics card. A fantastic graphics card that offers amazing performance thanks to its overclocked GPU and you also get amazing RGB lighting with the Epic X RGB feature. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and then leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.